everyone, I am Freedy here, and welcome to my mix set series for Monster Hunter World. Today's set is going to be based off a popular manga and now anime show called The Rising of the Shield Hero that I recommend you go watch or read and will provide you with a set that fits the theme of the main protagonist, their role, skills and anything else I can chuck in to make the set even more enjoyable. The Rising of the Shield Hero is a manga based around a protagonist called Nafumi. He was summoned to a new world where he must fight alongside his other fellow heroes against the threats called Calamities while understanding his own powers and building a party to support him. Compared to many anime and manga tropes where the hero has a unique or crazy ability that makes them some kind of god in their own realm, Nafumi uses a shield and just a shield as his main weapon, which sounds unprotectedly useless for engagements, but what makes him different is the ability his shield possesses, where upon defeating a monster or taking in a worldly item, he can absorb them and use a certain ability of theirs and use it to assist, counter and fight back so he can fit in the role of tank, healer and attacker whenever he likes. Although most of his attacks are done by his party, he does have a few attacks to where he can fight and kill if needed, although coming at a great cost to his health, which would be within his curse form. Now this idea seems a bit out there for Monster Hunter in World, but it is very much doable as the majority of ideas and skills used in both worlds are very much available to use, although out of to be slightly different. So here's how we're going to go about this. You're going to have multiple shields to use at your disposal, rather than the one, as we don't have the unique ability to absorb plus using monster's ability, items, whatever on the fly, ish. Instead, you can pick up whatever sword and shield you like, with whatever element you choose, and with whatever status to pick, as the, this fits the theme closest to the shield hero. If you haven't already, I recommend you grind out the Tower of Colby and get the Colby Kajar Sword and Shield as they have built in special skills that will free up room on your end but also offer you more freedom for adding other more important skills that are more suited. Next, your skills will focus around being the main aggro target to a monster and tank any sort of damage thrown at you while your teammates do the main damage or your palico and other allies being the main damage dealer. The idea here is that although you can fight back, you only fight back when needed such as teammates are in trouble or the opportunity is available. You're supposed to take on the role of tank who helps out your teammate but when push comes to shove, you can fight back whenever you like, although you won't do a lot of damage on your event unless you're hitting critical spots. In terms of skills to use, here's what I got. I have critical I7, agitator 5, palico rally 5 for helping my palico, or wide range is also useful if you're going to be focused on group play, so you can switch it out between which one you decide to go and mess around with. Witness exploit 3, guard up 1, heat guard, 3 element 1, and power prolonger 1. Both skills are from armor pieces and hold no use for the set. My attack came out to 259 with a true raw of 185, including power, title, and charm, with 70% affinity and a further buff to our attack by plus 20 and plus 15% affinity once agitated active. We also have 150 innate blast from the chosen weapon, which is handy but not our main concern or focus, and our palico receives an extra 25 plus bonus thanks to our palico rally skill, if that's what we decide to use. These skills I've chosen feel the best and closest to the main protagonist in terms of how he acts, how he fights, but of course it has further customization can be changed as the protagonist fits many roles when in active duty. For example, when it comes down to his curse mode, the best way to achieve this form is to have the heroic skill at max added in or swapped and have as much power up skills, items and food added in to give you that all powerful but extremely risky playstyle that we all know so well and love. If you want something a little bit more defensive while your partner does the main damage, then add in wide range at max, stack as much power buffing items as possible and use the respective support item to further help you and your group. Also, add in a shield that has useful status such as paralysis, sleep or poison and then you're pretty much on your way. For your palico, any weapon is suitable for them but ideally something that has quite a punch to it, so high damage or a weapon with an explosive. Now, with everything set, all you're left with is dressing up as a hero, which if you have the origin or commission layered armor set should be fine, like so, as currently shown, with the matching colors, like shown. And now, you should be ready to slay the oncoming threat in your stylish armor, your well equipped palico and friends, and be a true hero to the people, unlike the other heroes that betray you. I hope this cosplay and mix up provided brings some enjoyment in your hunts, as I have plenty more where that comes from, and even more fashionable ones at that. If you enjoyed the content then do leave a like, a sub and also do press the bell button to stay always updated to when I upload, as I appreciate a lot if you do. But like always thanks for watching and I hope to see you all again soon.